Hey guys, so um, the chainsaw is charging. <laughs> so my, while my camellia bush is waiting, I'm going to start some seeds so you can join me. And my little one, Riley, is here with me. He is down here at my feet. He's a little sheltie. Um, and he's my best friend. Well, in the animal kingdom anyway. Um, let's see. So, I saw this this morning and um, I thought I would try it. I wanted to grow some leeks. I really like the flavor of leeks. And I actually transferred some into a pot and um, they're growing, but they're not doing as well as what I would like. So I thought I would try to do some from seeds. So I had bought these last year from Haas Tool. Um, I like getting seeds from all different places. Um, I just happened to find these and I thought, hmm, let me give Hostels a try. Uh, some of the people that I watch on YouTube, they actually use Hostels a lot, especially um, Deep South Homestead. So I have these and I'm going to try them. So it's an experiment. I've never grown leeks before. Oh, I see my cat's also making a cameo appearance. <laughs> so let me see if I can get my dog to go lay down somewhere and I can free up my hands because he's wanting me to pet him, as you can tell. So um, I think it was the Rusted Gardener that I was watching this morning and he was using these, which I have actually used roasting pans before that I had left over from like Thanksgiving or Christmas dinner. And um, these are some, I think I bought at Walmart. They were like a two pack for three or four dollars. But I think what I'm gonna do is a Dollar Tree trip today because they have roasting pans there and see if I can get some more. Instead of using seed starter trays, those can, I mean, they're not very expensive, don't get me wrong. But um, I really think this is a, a really good um, economic alternative. I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use two of these. One of them is actually going to be the seed starter tray that I'm going to put the dirt in. There's Riley <laughs> making his little cameo appearance, my baby. So, um, the um, Gary, I can't say his last name, Perelchik, I think. Anyway, he goes by the Rusted Gardener on um, YouTube. And so what he did is he took one of these and used for soil and he punched some holes in the bottom of the pan, obviously for drainage holes, filled it up with some potting mix or um, seed starting. And then he uses the other pan as a watering pan or to catch the drainage. So you just put those on top like that. So let me go find something to punch a hole or some holes in one and I'll be right back handy dandy little box cutter tool. I have these laying everywhere <laughs> around my house. So, um, let me get all this goo glue, glue, glue goo off of here and we will get this going. The neat thing, these that I bought, they actually have these plastic lids. So, you can actually use it as a, you can put the lid on and it gives you a little extra um, cover instead of covering with saran wrap or um, having to go out and buy something and put on top of them. When you're starting seeds, some of them, they really do well if you can hold the moisture in. So these little tops will act like a, make it act like a terrarium. So you keep the moisture in and it helps the seeds germinate. So start by, See, I'm just cutting holes. So, and I don't know if you can tell or not, but I put the holes in where um, there's one in the middle and then there's one in each corner. And Gary did that to help with drainage because most houses, and I will be doing this in my grow area, and I don't know if you can tell or not, I have a grow area in the back corner of my living room by the front door. We don't really use that door um, 
except when we're having family gatherings. So that's like my little indoor grow area. So anyway, I brought the tomato in and put it under this grow light. And now I have tomatoes coming up in January. And last week I brought it in because of the cold air front or the cold front that was coming through. And so I have all these beautiful blossoms on it and some tomatoes. And I know you can't see it, but I'm sitting right next to, I have a little, um, it's a knockoff arrow garden and I found it on Marketplace for 50 bucks and I brought it, bought it and I have, um, kale and lettuce and basil. I even have a miniature, um, tomato bush and it even has blooms on it. So I'm getting into the indoor gardening some. Um, mainly because I want to have fresh fruits or fresh vegetables anyway through the winter time and part of my health journey I'm gonna eat more leafy greens so I have romaine lettuce growing in it I have kale I also have um, romaine lettuce growing in my grow area on the shelving unit I did a beginner hydroponic setup which I'm not pleased with um, that was the very first video I did, and I think I'm going to redo it. I'm not going to change anything except the baskets and the grow medium. I did buy some clay little pebbles, and I'm going to get some grow baskets and try it again in that same setup. Um, I just have it in a bus pan, and I found an old political sign that's about, I don't know, it's probably 24 about 18 by 24. I think that's what the average size of those political signs are, but you find them everywhere. It's illegal here to put them on the right of the way. Um, buddies with um, the enforcement, the code enforcer in our town, and every now and then I'll just send him a little text and say, hey, you got some more signs that you picked up, and he'll let me know, and I'll go meet him at his car dealership and pick them up. So what I did is I just cut holes in the top of that sign, laid it on top of a bus pan, and then I got the bubbler and the pump and everything and put it in there and tried some lettuce and it did really well for the first, I'd say probably the first two months. And, um, but I don't think I was using the right nutrients in the water. So my lettuce has since died. So I may trim it and see if it, there's still some living substance to it and try it again. And if I do, I'll update that video with some information. But anyway, getting back to the leeks. Um, so I have this potting mix. I get excited when Christmas, after Christmas, because they move all the Christmas stuff out of the, um, the garden center at Walmart. <laughs> and then I go start buying spring stuff along with the Christmas clearance. So I got some potting mix. I don't think I got this at Walmart though. I think I got it at Lowe's. But it's just sterile um, seed starting potting mix. Um, I hope to make my own coming up, but for now, this is what I'm gonna do. Now I'm gonna put this in here. I have like a, a cheap Dollar General tablecloth just kind of helping me contain some of my mess because I'm in my dining area. Um, my living room and dining room, I use for everything. So, I mean, we don't congregate in here except when my family comes over. So, this is where I do my seed starting and um, it's where my grow area is. So, what I'm doing is I'm just gonna empty some potting, the seed starting mix in here and um, just kind of get it out level. And it's not very moist, it is, I think it's I don't know if it's the moisture control or not, but anyway, you want to kind of pat it down a little bit and maybe even dampen it. And I don't have my gloves on, so my hands and my fingernails are going to get really dirty probably, but that's okay. So, and I have one of these handy dandy little sprayers too. I love these. You can get them in the store for about five or six bucks and they'll probably be more this year. But the nice thing is you just pump, fill it full of water, pump it and just spray the top. Get it nice and moist. And from what I understand, leeks, you can actually just kind of sprinkle the seeds and grow them, get them started very, very close together. And then come back in about eight to 10 weeks and you can transplant them. So I'm gonna try to adjust the camera so you can see better. 
So here's my little setup. So I'm going to just pour them out in my hand. And that's it. Wow. Didn't get a whole lot. But I mean, there's probably 30 seeds in here. So what I'm going to do is just kind of sprinkle them a little bit across here. They're about the same size as onion seeds. And uh, hopefully see some germination. It says um, days to maturity is 90 days, but I think that varies. Um, it can be anywhere from 90 to 130 days. But they should be ready to transplant in my container garden outside by March. And that's usually when it's time to do that here. So then you want to just take it. Again, I'm going to spray again just to kind of wet the seeds a bit on top and kind of keep them from sliding around in there. And then just sprinkle some of this potting mix on top. Apparently, leeks do not need sunlight to germinate. So I just sprinkle that a little bit, kind of pat it down. And again, I'll moisten it one more time. And I'm off today. I generally work Monday through Thursday. I'm a midwife, a nurse midwife. Um, been a nurse for 34 years and went back to school in my mid 40s and finished my master's degree and in nursing and with a specialty in women's health and nurse midwifery. So I normally work Monday through Thursday um, in clinics, in the clinic on Tuesday and Wednesday, seeing patients. And then I cover labor and delivery for the doctor on call on Mondays and Thursdays. So um, today I'm off because my daughter had surgery yesterday and I'm supposed to be taking care of her and she wanted to get a little bit extra sleep today because she didn't get much sleep last night. She had knee surgery. And so she's texting me now, probably to tell me she wants me to come pick her up. But I took this day off too, so I can help her. You know, she's my daughter. I love her. She's great. She's probably my best friend. Um, it's kind of neat when you raise your own best friend. So, um, and she gave me great grandkids. So anyway, so now I have this done. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add just a bit of water, maybe about a quarter to a half inch in the bottom of this. I'll be right back. love these watering cans that you can get from Dollar Tree. I hope they have them again this year. They're a buck a piece, you know, they hold like a half a gallon. And I like them for my indoor plants. So, a little bit more. That's about half of an inch. So, I'm going to set this one inside here. Don't push down. Just kind of let it float. That's how Gary did it. If you push down, you're going to get water everywhere. And then I'm going to put the lid on. He didn't put a lid on his, but I'm going to do this because a lot of times I'm really bad and I forget to turn my lights on in my grow area. I needed to get it set up on a timer, um, but I, I'm bad about um, not remembering to come in and um, water my seedlings. So I'm going to put that on, see if it helps for the germination, and then I'm going to put it in my grow area and I'm going to see if I can swivel this so you can see my grow area. Y'all don't look at my mess. This is my crafting table. <laughs> so I have a t-shirt press and my make my Cricut over here and all my supplies underneath. And then this is my grow station. This is um, the shelving unit that I have set up and I haven't cleaned it off um, in a while. So I'm going to go ahead and set these over here, see if I can zoom in a bit. I don't know if it'll let me or not. Okay, so apparently I don't know enough about this camera to um, 
get it to zoom in. But anyway, I'll walk it over here and put it up the grill lights on a shelf. And oh, I meant to mark it. Forgot to mark it. Get some duct tape. Here's my Sherpy. Okay, so I'm just gonna, I saw him label the tray like this instead of doing the plant markers inside. So I'm gonna try this and see because my plant markers, I always forget what's in there. My plant markers fade. So we're gonna write American flag. with today's date and the germination days, or the, um, I'm sorry, the days to maturity. Let's see, All right. here we go, let me swirl y'all back around, if I didn't swirl you. Okay, so anyway, I've got my label, let me just, Tear this off and put it here. And then I will go put it on my shelf under the grow lights. Okay. We will see how this works. So I'm going to take you over here to see my little grow station. I took you off to a tripod and um, you can see here I have some, these are herbs in the back that haven't really done very well under the grow lights. The oregano is doing okay. The dill isn't doing so great, but I've got dill planted outside in a container. And then here are the spring onions that I did. These are some transplants that I had from the store. And then I put seeds over here. And then there's my American flag leek. And there's my tomato. Isn't that cool? Look at this. Bitty maters. Cool, huh? Little bitty maters. And this is my mantra that's on my door. And I hope everyone will be blessed as they come in and blessed as they go out. Have a great day.